Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and this is a different kind of a package, but I watched a YouTube documentary about this really cool Mennonite family that lived in Tennessee, and it was about the Appalachian Mountains, and I don't know what you guys know about me and what you don't, but I love Tennessee. I love me some Tennessee. I always loved it. I like the country. I like everything about it. And so sometimes I'll just sit and watch videos, especially if I'm doing something else. Sometimes it's nice to just um, have something on in the background. And lots of times I'll watch like Judge Judy or Judge shows or whatever. But I also enjoy just watching videos like this. And I found this video or this family and it's there, the Gunthers. And they own a little sorghum mill and it's called Muddy Pond Sorghum Mill. And they were, this documentary showed some of their processes and I think that there might be another one and I'm gonna try to remember to link this below so that if you guys are interested, you can see it. But they talked about this family table recipe book that they had. And so I contacted them and I asked them if they, because they said that they have them for sale in the store, but they also said that they started taking credit cards just this year. And um, I thought, ooh, I wonder if I could get just one of them mailed to me. And sure enough, they were sweet as pie. They had their email address listed on the video. So I went and I got their email address and I emailed them and a nice woman named Doreen um, responded and then gave me her phone number so I could call her and give her my information. So I did that over the phone and she lickety split said this. I mean, I think this took, this was sent media mail, which is usually pretty slow, but, and she said I was supposed to get it next week, but it came in like three days. Now it only came from Tennessee to Indiana, but still it was media mail and that's unheard of in my opinion. But this is the cookbook. So this is the Gunther family table, our favorite recipes. It looks really nice. Um, and I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I thought I might give you a little sampling of some of them and just kind of look through it with you just because it's brand new to me too. And I thought it was really cool. And I wanted to give them, I wanted to pay some homage to them because I don't know, I think it's awesome. I, I, I'm very interested in the Mennonite and Amish cultures. I think that it is very respectable. So there's little helpful hints on this side, and then there's appetizers and beverages. And I'm just gonna kind of look at some of them. Oyster cracker snacks, I don't know if you guys have ever had those, but those are fabulous. Oil, ranch dressing, dill weed, lemon seasoning. Oh, and it's just really cute. Look how cute, that, blackberry tea. Oh, and this is from Doreen. Oh, yay. Three cups blackberries, a cup of sugar, four cups of boiling water, family-sized tea bags, and cold water. Oh, I am definitely gonna have to make that. There's even chai tea, French hot chocolate, and then here's soups and salads, chicken noodle soup, chili, white chicken chili, beef bourguignon, which I think is just a fancy name for beef stew. I cannot wait. I'm gonna be looking at these for sure. Crock pot, creamy potato soup, Caramel apple salad, let me look at that. Butterscotch pudding, marshmallows, Cool Whip, Granny Smith's apples, and peanuts. Oh, that sounds delicious. And that's from Amber Gunther. Vegetables and side dishes. Spicy grits with sorghum butter. Now, sorghum, as far as I know, I, have, I don't think I've ever had it, but I think it's like molasses is what they said. Butter noodles. That's pretty funny. A pound of noodles, half a cup of, ba of butter, seasoned with salt and pepper. That's so funny. Mac and cheese, party potatoes, best ever mashed potatoes, cheesy scallop potatoes. Oh, and there's some main dishes, breakfast, Baked oatmeal, ooh, I love baked oatmeal. Summer tomato pie, what is that? Crust, tomatoes, basil, pepper, herbs, mayonnaise, and cheddar cheese. <gasps> that sounds like a tomato uh, sandwich in a pie form. Oh, it sounds delicious. Rolled up stromboli, cast iron pizza, tender savory roast beef, 
chicken lasagna. I mean, these recipes have probably been passed down from, you know, generation to generation and have been tried and true. So that's part of why I'm so interested in it. I will definitely make some of the things in here and I will let you know when I am. Watch out for my Foodie Fridays. Skiers French Toast, yummy. Oh, bread, there's bread in here. Blueberry crepes. Oh, here's a sourdough bread recipe. And they make lots of, oh, there's a white bread recipe. They make lots of bread. Oh, look at this. It says, make a tang zong, and then it says roux. I have no idea what that is. I know what a roux is, but I've never heard of tang zong. Oh, my goodness. And I'm sure that this is just, oh, tang zong is a Japanese bread technique bringing the temperature of some of the flour and liquid to 149 degrees, pre-gelatinizes the flour starches, which enables them to retain liquid better, thus enhancing softness and shelf life. Huh. They make this like it's no big deal. And I'm if I make any of these, I will be like screaming it from the rooftops. New Year's cookies, roll kitchen, Never heard of that, but I mean, all of this is Poroski, Poroski. I've heard of that, but I don't even know how to say it. Ooh, sourdough cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get hungry. So it's hilarious that, is this the desserts? Or no, this is breads and rolls, I think. Yes, this is breads and rolls. Oh, here are the desserts. I think that like most of the book is desserts. That's pretty funny. You can see. I don't know. I can't say that exactly, but there's index and this is this and that. But then all of this is desserts. So yes, there are a lot of desserts in here. Lemon tart, apple dew dumplings, chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, Linzer cookies, brownies, peanut butter squares, puffed wheat bars. I mean, there's everything. And then here's a this and that, which is kind of funny sometimes, at least in some of the cookbooks that I've seen like this. It has funny things in here, like Pete's Lebanon bologna. So Pete tells you to use 100 pounds of deer or beef, four pounds of salt. I mean, I don't know. I will never, ever do that. But I think it's hilarious that they're in here. Pepper relish, zucchini relish, chow chow. That is good stuff. I have had some chow chow, but this is like a huge amount. Five cups of coarse green, chopped green tomatoes. Five cups coarsely chopped cabbage. And it's just a lot. Five pounds of beets. Sorghum granola. I should, I should um, call there and get some of the sorghum because, like I said, I don't know if I've ever had it. Chocolate gravy. I have heard of this before. Sugar, flour, cocoa, milk, water, butter, and vanilla. It doesn't say what to serve it on, but what I've heard is that you put it on, like, biscuits or pancakes. But I have never had that. But Oh, here's the recipe for, um, for onion soup mix. Onion flakes, bouillon onion powder, parsley, celery, and paprika. Used in place of the store-bought onion soup mix. Very nice, and taco seasoning. So this is cool, and then there's an index with all of the things in here. Amish wedding punch, ooh, I should check that out. Let's see what that is, it's on page four. Frozen grape concentrate, I'm sure that's grape juice. Lemon juice, sugar, orange juice, water, and 7-Up. Yummy. I might have to try that. Maybe I'll serve that at my wedding. Look at this. We have Sunny Punch, Amish Wedding Punch, Guacamole BLT Dip, Shrimp Bites. Oh, See, I don't get all crazy about the desserts because I don't make a lot of desserts, and I'm not super excited about desserts, but show me some good sides and some main dishes, and 
appetizers. I'll go nutto nutto. But I thought this was really cute, and I just wanted to share it with you guys so that if you guys are interested, you can check it out too. And I don't know, I like helping the family out. So yay, very nice. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. I am going to put her little card, or I wrote this down. I'm just going to put this right here so that you guys can see it if you are interested because all of this was found on that email or on the video. So I'm sure that it's fine to post, but that's how I got the cookbook. And I believe this is the number that I called and I spoke with Doreen. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Happy cooking. Bye.